the sign because of the sun. There we go. Oh, for you with it. Hello, family and friends and fellow YouTubers. It's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner. And today I'm in Springfield, Missouri with my brother Stephen. And we are getting ready to visit a large park system. It's part of the Springfield Green County Park Board system. And uh, this one park has like about four or five different little parks within it. And the first stop is the Japanese Garden. So let's go take a look. All right, join the fun. Here we go. All right, so today we are in Springfield, Missouri, and we are at the Mizumoto Japanese Stroll Garden. And um, it's part of the Springfield Greene County Park Board. And I'm anxious to see this beautiful Japanese garden. And then it has this Japanese style building over here. Springfield, Missouri really is a neat city. It has a lot of interesting um, sites and um, venues that you can visit. Okay, so this is um, a map of the whole complex. And we're right here at the Japanese Garden. And then what do we have? There's the Campbell Farmstead. Okay. Okay. And then when we're done, if we're not worn out. <laughs> yeah. We'll drive over here because they've got some new gazebo and stuff over here at the Rose Garden. Okay. Or a Hosta Garden. Hosta Garden. Okay. And, and then they... they've got um, they've got an Irish Lily Butterfly Garden. This Butterfly up here house. is a master garden where they do demonstrations and classes. Right. Um, okay. And they then have they have the botanical, botanical center. center. I've never been in there. All right. But we're going to definitely do the Japanese garden. Yes. And then maybe walk over and look at the farmstead. And this, then we'll just see a, how we feel. This is an actual entrance fee. Okay. This is all free. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks for bringing me. You're welcome. But in here, I mean, you can spend an hour. You could spend two hours in here. All right. Okay, that's fine. They, they'll usually have signs sometimes. You definitely walk in with the color of the Japanese maple meeting you. Of course, the Japanese, they like to add a lot of uh, structure, but it's earth earthbound structure like rocks, trees, shrubs, water features. And this beginning you can see where they've incorporated rocks into their landscaping. And the Japanese maples of course are all in their red. Ooh, that's a weeping, I think that's a weeping cherry. Which is, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry guys, but I do believe that's a weeping cherry over there. They do like to use a lot of the weeping shrubs. And of course, since we're in Missouri, they're incorporating a lot of our natives too, such as the coneflowers. Small pine back there. Pines are like an ornate, like they're yeah. They're not like a straight pine. No, um, I would probably assume that they've done that on purpose. Right. That they've actually I don't know have sculptured those. Species. Huh? I don't know if it's a separate species. 
N no, it looks like a white it. pine, but I think they've sculptured it. The pine disappeared just to find shade. I understand. So it makes a huge circle. Okay. So whichever way you want to go. We'll do the whole thing. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go this way. And there'll be some geese. Okay. <laughs> it is relaxing. Oh, yeah. It is beautiful. She said, she said there's only four other people in here. <laughs> Tell your viewers it's like 120 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> if you all didn't hear that. <laughs> My brother wanted to tell you that he's taking me on this walk in 120 degree weather. There is a breeze. Though. There is a breeze, and it's there is not horrible. lots of shade. I like that. Um, I don't know what it is. That. Oh, I that is a. I think that's a Norway spruce. Yeah, I do like those. I like the ones with the weeping branches. I could be wrong. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's, that's in Norway. One of the cherry ones that you mentioned. Yeah. Have some. Go right. We have some black eyes Susans and a beautiful rock sculpture there with a Japanese maple behind it. Very pretty. And I don't want to rush you. I'm not. Okay. It's not too bad out here if you're in the shade. Looks like we have a dry creek bed. That's actually another landscaping well, design that they garden. like to use. I think there's a zen garden over there. Oh, is there a zen garden? But these dry uh, creek beds are very popular. We have our first little bridge here. Oh wow, that's very uh, calming, isn't it? This is a Zen garden, guys. You can see that they've got a bamboo pole fence up here in the front. And they've used white gravel here. And if you look very closely at the gravel, you can see where it's been raked into lines to give it um, structure and then there's their centerpiece that's just really pretty very calming and a lot of times when my brother takes me places I find him on the ground. <laughs> As you guys know, my brother's a photographer. So, you never know what position he's going to take to get the perfect shot. The wow shot, as we call it. The lines don't show up. The lines aren't showing up the way he wants them to. He'll figure it out, though. It's not, I'm not going to mess with it. 
He says it's too hot today to mess with it. <laughs> it is pretty warm out here, for sure. That's the path we just came down. Yeah, we want to go on and go this way. We do want to go ahead and go back? Okay. Yep. I forgot. We could have come through that way. Okay. This is like a Japanese um, sculpture, Pagoda. lantern, what is it called? I think they're called pagodas. Pagodas, that's right. I knew there was a name Thanks. for them. Here's a willow. I think that's um, bamboo. Bamboo. Thank you. No, this is bamboo. All of that's bamboo, isn't it? Oh yeah, they have that bamboo growing along the fence over there. Oh, that is a pretty little lake. You can't see it from here when we go around. There's one of the square zigzag bridges over there. Oh, okay. I'll give you a shot of this lake from this side real quick. Have a little bench you can sit on. Do you remember the photo I had of the three little goslings and the one in the mm -hmm. middle was looking? I yes. Took it right here. Right here. Wow. Very pretty. I don't know what you saw. Right there. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's pretty with the way this Japanese maple here has the sun coming down through it. It just glows. It looks like it's glowing. These are a type of spruce, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, what are these called? I don't remember the names. Uh huh. Let me get a shot of this leaf structure. It's like a feathery type leaf structure. A little percula back here. It's this little. We'll go ahead and go back in there and just look. Yeah, I'm going to stay in the shade. Okay. Yep, a little pergola that you can come back and sit in. We are here on a Wednesday. No, we are here on a Thursday. So they're actually doing maintenance to the garden. They probably do the maintenance during the week so that on the weekends when they have their most visitors, it will be all primed and proper for them. That is beautiful through there.
family and friends and fellow YouTubers, it's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner, and I am in this beautiful, relaxing, peaceful, calming Japanese garden, just enjoying the beautiful sights and the sounds, and just having a wonderful time with my brother Stephen today. So I hope you guys are enjoying the walk as much as I am. And right now I'm going to attempt to walk over to the little island on the zigzag bridge. This has got to be one of the most beautiful Japanese gardens I have ever been to. I've been to maybe three, um, and I do love the way they have this one set up. There's the Black Knight butterfly bush that I'm trying to grow out on the homestead. Well, no, actually, I take that back. This is not black knight. This is a butterfly bush, but it's not the black knight. So, it's beautiful though. Or at least I don't think it is. I think the black knight is a little bit darker. Beautiful. So, yes, this little pond a Japanese garden will always have some kind of a pond incorporated into it along with the bridges. So this little pond goes all the way around this island, which I just love. I love the way they have this set up. And then their Japanese artwork. Sculptures. And the way they have some of their pine trees. I um, can't think of what this is called when they do this sculpturing of the trees. But it's really pretty. some hostas growing under this shade here and some ferns. They have a little brook right in there. Okay. Oh, okay. beautiful sound of this little brook feeding into the pond.
little lilies down in there. Some weeping. I think those are Norway spruce. The Japanese gardens usually have weeping um, plants. They like that flow of the different weeping plants. There's another type of weeping tree. I do not know all the names of these trees and shrubs, guys. Um, but I do know a lot of them will start out with weeping because that's what they're doing. Another weeping tree. Okay guys, so now we have this beautiful arched bridge. In Japanese gardens, you just find a simple flow to these things. And I love the flow of this bridge, the way it goes up and over and just curves. So we're going to go up and over this bridge. It just goes down to this little island. But I just love the curve of this. So we're on another little island. Um, that lake that we were just at, or that pond that we were just at, is connected by this little canal here. And that canal connects that pond into this pond. And it has a little babbling brook over there feeding it too. I love the way the leaves just gently touch that water. And the printing of this here pine into a sculpture, almost like a natural living sculpture. And there are those same uh, weeping spruce, Norway, Norway spruce, or Norway pine. I'll have to look that up. But I just love the way it weeps.
So, can you tell me what the sign says over here, Steve? Uh, no. Actually, I can. It says, the gift from Izaki Gardens Association. <laughs> because it has the English, I think. I think that's what it says. Pretty mass grouping there of the Black Eyes Susans. I love all these little islands that they have set up for people to just come in, maybe sit and meditate and relax. Wow, that is beautiful. Beautiful pergola, isn't it? Oh yeah, there are. There are some geese over here under this tree. Canada geese. Thank you so much for bringing me here. I don't know if he'll fly away when you go over there, but you'll go stand right on the lip of that bank. There's a dragonfly keeps landing on that. Oh, uh, okay. I see it. Just stand still and he'll probably come back to you. I mean, you may go out on the grass and stand still and he'll come back. I don't know if you can get him from there or not. I think this is I think this is one of the prettiest Japanese gardens I've only, that I've been to. Of course I've only been to So we're sitting under this pergola here, my brother and I. 
and this vining plant, which I think is wisteria, goes up and makes a shade canopy under this pergola, or for this pergola. And then it comes down over there. Actually, it's probably two plants, one over there and one on the other side. It's nice and cool under here, isn't it? Steve says a lot of weddings and senior pictures are done here in this part of the park. But you have to have a permit. But you have to have a permit. All right, we're headed on down the road, or on down the path. We're headed on down the path. I could tell he was pondering a picture of the dragonfly. Did you get him? Oh, you got a little dizzy? Steve's not feeling the best today. This heat is getting the better of him. He gets a little dizzy out here in this heat. But he's a real trooper, guys. He is fighting lung cancer. Inoperable, incurable lung cancer. And he is a real trooper bringing me out here today so I can enjoy this garden and spend some time with my brother. And he's even pointing out the best shots to get. <laughs> Which means I'm taking a break. Which means he's taking a break. Beautiful. The sound. Yes, we had to make a trip to Springfield today to start a new cancer treatment. What's that called, Steve? Immunotherapy. Immunotherapy. And he got his training on it today. And after he was finished getting his training on his immunotherapy, he asked me if I'd like to see this park, and I said yes. So we came. But uh, the heat, it is hot, and the heat is even starting to affect me, and I can understand why it would be wearing on him. Do you have a stage? Do they, do they give you a stage or? Stage four. Stage four lung cancer, guys. And you just had your kidney removed two years ago. Well, actually, the kidney cancer moved to my lungs. So the kidney cancer moved to the lungs. And he doesn't like to talk about it because he says he wants to live life and not focus on it. But I know a lot of you know my brother from my videos. You know he's a dom, a director of missions. You know he's a Baptist pastor. You've heard him sing. So I just feel like I should update my friends. So we are truly enjoying this time together. We have lots of time together. <laughs> I don't want I don't want you to think we don't have time together, but I just meant we are especially enjoying this day together. I'd love to come here with snow on the ground. Yeah. Because these pine trees would be alive. I mean. Right. I love the sculpturing of them. The prune, the way they prune them to almost be a sculpture. I like how they do the sidewalk because it's, 
Yeah, okay. it's a, uh, a rough pattern type, and it's the way it weaves. The Japanese gardens have a nice natural flow to them. Love you, Steve. I hope you know that. I, I know you do. I love you. I love your photography. I love your quirks. <laughs> Sorry, I do. He's like, okay, sis. <laughs> Beautiful. See the sculpturing? These pines did not grow like this. I mean, I do believe they were intentionally pruned into that manner. Oh, I forgot about the paper house, or whatever it's called. Is that this coming up? The tea house. The tea house, which a lot of times is made out of a wax type paper. I forgot about it. Okay, I don't know if this goes. I think it goes all the way through. I know we'll come back and go that Okay. Way. So we're going straight? Yeah. And then, okay. And there's another small water. There's a couple water. A couple more water features here. Some flocks over there. Oh, wow, that is. That is really pretty right through there. And then with the sound of the water, very peaceful. That's that bridge that I went over earlier. Okay, so we're at the little tea house. How cute. Do they have functions hosted out of here? I bet they do. It's kind of small. It is, but a little tea party maybe. But, but you can see where this would have been the living room and then that would be the bedroom back yeah. there. Very cool. <laughs> 